Felix's training in the pressure suit begins at a facility used by the military to simulate conditions at the edge of space. Overseeing the test is Joe's colleague, Mike Todd. Bring it up in the back. It's really a training exercise for Felix. He has a limited suit experience, and the more experience we can get him in the suit, uh, the more confident that he's going to be at altitudes. Sir, whenever you're ready, go ahead and reach up to the top and bring your visor down slowly. 11, 18. The suit's flexibility is still causing Felix concern. Now we'll find out what it's like working in it for several hours. I've seen people struggle with pressure suits. You're in your own little environment. It's a, it's a little plastic bubble that you're in. And uh, you've always got something touching your skin someplace, which reminds you that you are. Felix is depressurized to 76,000 feet, way beyond the Armstrong line. It's getting hot in here, Tom. It's getting hot in here. The water bubbling is what would happen to his blood without protection. The higher you go, the more the suit inflates. So it's getting harder to move. Plus, your neck ring is lifting your head. Everything looks good. How you doing? Staying cool. It really hurts my stomach. Yes. Got stomach pain now. It's getting hot and cold inside your body. You can feel how you start sweating. Your respiration rate has definitely changed. You feel claustrophobic, you know? I was really close to, to tell the guys, hey, get me out of the suit, I can't deal with that anymore. I was really fighting against it, you know? Fighting against my, my own fear, fighting against my own mind. Everybody's counting on you, everything's really cool, guy, you can deal with it. And I mean, I have to accomplish a jump from 130,000 feet, breaking the speed of sound. And I can't even stand being in the suit on the ground. 